If you're based in the UK, then why not use Numistaka for all of your grading submissions to NGC? Um, details are below, link below, get in contact and let's do some grading. Hey guys, welcome back to another dose of Numistaka and the special code for the month of August 2021 is Roland. Coin Connection have got an enviable reputation for quality, so if you're after a really good coin from the Royal Mint and others, then please do visit Coin Connection and use the Roland promo code. The coin that I'm going to show you guys here is a very special coin. In fact, this video is chock-a-block with very special coins, so please do hang on and watch right through to the very end. If you haven't subscribed, please do hammer down on the subscribe button so that uh, you can make sure that you see each new Mistaka video when it comes out. This coin is a very, very special coin, only produced from 1642 to 1646 in the troubled regime or reign of Charles I. This one is a half a pound, so it's a 10 shillings worth of silver coin. It has a, a very interesting declaration on the back, which is a kind of abridged version of a larger declaration. The declaration reads the religion of the Protestants, the laws of England, and the sovereignty of Parliament. And uh, it was made in the Oxford Mint. Uh, in fact, all of these half pound coins were made at various regional mints. You've got Charles I on horseback, um, and you often see uh, his portrait on horseback, and it follows one of the fam most famous Charles I portraits of him on horseback, which uh, I'm not quite sure who did it, but I remember seeing it at the recent Charles I exhibition uh, in London. So uh, not a cheap coin, it's an expensive little coin and these go from about 5,000 up to 10,000 pounds per coin. This one is uh, one that was in the, Le the, the, the Leeds City Museum collection and uh, it's a, an absolutely wonderful historical coin. Hopefully it'll grade pretty well with NGC as well. You can see here the Leeds Museum exhibit ticket uh, sitting there at the back. If you look hard at the background of the coin under the 1642 uh, on that side you can see a number of little lines that go vertically top to bottom almost underneath the design and those little lines are adjustment marks. So they, they were done actually to the blank, to the planchet, before the coin was minted to adjust the weight of the coin to become a standardised weight. Um, interesting coin, really, really beautiful historical coin, and it's great to be able to show you this coin uh, here uh, and to have it being submitted to NGC for grading. So moving on. A Nepalese gold coin, an Ashrafi Tola, and uh, although I personally do not understand the writing that is on this coin, uh, maybe some of you guys do understand this a little bit better than me, I just think it's a, a really good example uh, of uh, one of these coins, not one that I've seen submitted for grading before at all. What I can tell you is it's three nines fine gold and it weighs in at 11.66 grams of gold. So let's take a look at another one. This one is a coin minted in 1825 and it's a German States Hanover uh, 10 Thaler gold coin. It has a gold content of about 13 or so grams of gold. And uh, I mean, it's one that is very similar to some of our British sovereigns at the time. Um, and it can vary between kind of pretty much just over melt value if it's um, fairly bad condition up to two or three thousand dollars for one which is in pretty cool, good condition. 
the next coin that I want to show you is another one that arrived for submission to NGC for one of my customers. Uh, and this coin came from milled and hammered coins. But you can see here by the number of tickets that came with it, it's a coin with a pretty illustrious history. So this is um, minted between 1619 and 1625. It's from the reign of James I and uh, it's a crown and it's a coin that seems to have been in a whole variety of collections over many, many, many years. Lots of different cabinets. You can see each one of these little round tickets is from uh, a tray in a cabinet and uh, it's gone up during that time. I think the earliest ticket gives it a value of £175 and the latest ticket gives it a value of something like seven and a half, eight thousand pounds, which really just goes to show, you know, what um, you know, quality British coins uh, have done over the last 40, 50 years. Uh, there's been a continuous uh, interest in these coins. Uh, they are as liked and as desired now, I think, as probably uh, any time post Second World War. And, uh, and these coins are pretty few and far between, particularly in this kind of condition with a really nice kind of even tone. And uh, so this particular one's a crown. A crown in old money is five shillings. You saw at the beginning of this video a half pound from Charles I, which was 10 shillings. So this is worth kind of half that amount in terms of its uh, spending power. This particular coin is from James I's uh, third period. The first period was really the start of his reign, James VI of Scotland. And then the second period, he uh, changed his title to have Kings of England on, uh, on his coinage and the England, Scotland, France and his other kingdoms became uh, more important. The third coinage goes from 1619 to 1625 when he died. And uh, coins of this period are said to have a smaller rose, smaller crown, and a smaller Scottish lion. Uh, I don't know whether the smaller Scottish lion was, lion was meant to distinguish anything political in relation to Scotland. But there you have it, some interesting coins from the Numistaka channel. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you more. If you want to encourage me to make more videos, then please do hit the subscribe button, like the video and comment a lot and let me know what you guys think. Mm -hmm.